All right, everybody, let's talk about how to tighten up a hat when a hat is too big for you. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in depth. Um, I am doing this at work pretty much, uh, you know, five days a week or so, nine to five, uh, since 1994. Uh, and I've pretty much got it down to a science. Um, what you essentially want to do when a hat is too big is you want to pat it down. You want to put most of the padding in the back behind your head, okay? When it's up in the front here, you're gonna feel the padding a little more. You feel you're aware of it, and you feel it against your bare forehead. When you have it in the back, most of us have more hair back there, so you don't feel the stuffing and stuff. And um, it's just less invasive. You wanna do it in the back. Now, contrary to uh, other people's beliefs, it doesn't do too much to tighten up the sides that much, okay? If you have issues with the sides, Fedoras are soft, okay? And they're gonna flex and take the shape of your head eventually, okay? If I, what you wanna do is you wanna tighten up a hat to size, okay? Using pretty much the back, like a half moon, kind of like around the back. That's where your head is touching, in the back and in the front. On the sides, there's a big gap. Everybody has a big space here you can put your finger in. If you've got no hair here and you're more bald, you, you'll see the space. If you've got hair, you're not that aware of it because the hair takes up that space. But we all have a big gap here, except for certain people. Asian people have a little bit more of a rounder head uh, than European and African people, which have a bit more of an oval-shaped head. Um, I know that. Uh, I'm Eastern European descent from uh, Ukraine, and my wife is uh, Japanese. And um, our heads are completely different shape. Mine is a long oval, hers is more round. Um, doesn't matter that much, but in essence, what you're doing is you're tightening up the hat to fit to size, okay? And eventually it'll take the shape of your head. The sides will come in and whatever. Don't fill up gaps on the sides to try to fix that problem. It just doesn't work. You'll find this out after enough years of doing this. All right, so what I generally do is I take a big piece of this stuff and then I'll take two small pieces, like a couple of one inch dashes and I'll put them on each end. All right, so let's pretend, let's do like this. So you take, this is weather stripping. You can get weather seal, polyfoams, all different kinds of stuff. I have many videos on it. You could use uh, three eighth inch is good. It doesn't really matter. Half inch is good, three eighth inch. Anything like this is about the width of my index finger or so, right? Okay. What you want to do is you pick up the sweatbands. This does work with cloth and ribbon sweatbands, but not as well. It's just a little lumpier. You're going to put this stuff, you're going to put it either here or down here. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one because you're going to fold it down there anyway and it's going to go to the same place anyway get it there or here it doesn't matter it's going down to the same place the only difference is if you ever want to remove it sometimes you know you could damage the leather on the inside a little but it's never really an issue for me it doesn't really damage it and plus you never have to take this stuff out if you do you take the little pieces off the end so you put it in like that okay you peel off the paper you get that off a lot of people try to side swipe the step and they don't stick it in they don't want to stick it in their head doesn't work as well if you just place it in. I'm telling you, you gotta stick it in. You don't want the thing falling out every two seconds. Just leave it, set it, and forget it. You'll forget the padding is in there after a week. I have people who come in for me to stretch their hats and then they have tons of this stuff in there and I pull it out and I was like, as you stretch, they forgot that they tightened up their hat like five years ago, you know, they just pull it out and then now the hat's bigger and they're happy. So yeah, you'll forget the stuff is in there. You peel off this paper, get rid of it, okay? and then try it on, all right? If the hat feels like it's still a little loose, what I do is I take two little pieces and I add them to each end. You extend it. The longer you make this piece, okay, the tighter your hat's gonna be. So let's say I take an inch and I put it on each side. Okay, so I just added that piece. Now I'm gonna add another piece on this side. All right, so I extended that six inch piece to now it's an eight inch piece. I added this and this, these two. All right, so when I'm all ready, I peel the papers off and we're good to go. 
All right, I'm gonna recycle this stuff so I'm not gonna peel the papers off. I don't wanna waste it. But that's it. This is how you tighten up a hat. Now, if that is not enough and you need to go more, you double up the same process in the front. You make that horseshoe in the front, okay? Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just patch it. I'll just go all the way around and stuff and I'll just make one neat. But uh, you can just do a, like a half moon on the front, half moon on the back, it's usually fine. And then when I get to the ends, the end of each piece, I do something like this and mat it down so it sort of blends. So the end of each side, push it down. Just pat it down. The stuff acts like a, like a memory foam. So it'll only tighten up where you need it. If you need it to be looser, your head will push it and compress it. So it, it actually takes the shape of your head. It's very good stuff. It's rainproof. It's not gonna get hard like duct tape. It's not gonna deteriorate and sweat out like paper towels or business cards. It'll stay in there for years, for decades. Um, and that's it, and you're good to go. All right, you get yourself a roll of this weather foam stuff. Poly foam weather, weather seal is good. 3 8 inch is good. I have all sorts of different uh, widths that I use. You know, anything that's close to maybe your, uh, your index finger width, that's a good width, or even a tiny bit less than that. Do in the back, you need more, you do it in the front, or you can do the entire thing. It will be a little bit lumpy at first, but um, don't worry about that. After you wear this a dozen times, that'll pack down and it won't be lumpy anymore. It'll be, see, nice and smooth. Don't worry about it. It's in there, you see? This is how you do it. Now, if you have a hat that you did that and it's not enough, you need even more, like your hat is like three sizes too big, then you have to start working on the inside. You have to pad on the outside of the sweatband. You buy something called a cap band new off of Amazon, three words, C-A-P-B-A-N-N-U. You buy a cap band new pad, which is a black cotton pad that'll go against your skin without irritating it. This stuff cannot go against the, your skin. It's it's just not good for you. You'll get irritated and it's just gross. So if you want a good cotton pillow kind of a thing with a very strong adhesive like this, it's called Cap Manu. You put it in there. It'll also prevent sweat stains. It keeps you from sweating through your hat. Make your hats last pretty much forever in that sense. I use them too. Um, the only thing is you don't have the, the leather against your skin. The leather is nice because you could dry it and stuff, keep it comfy or a cap and it will stay wet. So I like to put them in the back to tighten hats and I put them in the front if I'm using them for sweat uh, protection. Better to put a cap and on the inside in the back, okay? So if you've tightened up the inside as much as you can go, you gotta start working on the inside. You buy a cap and new off of Amazon. I think there's like a box of three of them or something. You stick one in, that's it. That is how to tighten up your hat. Peace. <laughs> and now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.